How's it going? So today I'm going to be doing the tiny builds challenge by Lil Simsy. Let me just get into it. It doesn't actually say how big the lot has to be, but we're not allowed to touch the walls. We're allowed to add walls inside. Just keep the shell the same on the outside. Anyways. And then we start building. So I'm going to make this a house. Little door. Am I allowed to add a roof? I don't know. So I'm gonna add a roof. Oh no. Didn't mean to do that. I love The Sims 4, I just wish that you could actually have more than one cow in the same barn. What window should I put? I like that window. There we go. Where's that other window that I had? Then we have that window. So for the Luther Mansion build that I did, I am currently in the middle of editing the second part of the build because I did the build in two parts. I don't have any commentary on those videos that are up so far, so I think for the second half of the Luther Mansion build I'm actually going to do commentary. Is this too many windows? What do you guys think? Should spread them out a little bit more. Maybe there, like that. Hmm. Sims love light. Like, they do not like being in the dark, so they gotta have quite a few windows. Let me actually change the door. I mean, I like that door, but I don't think it matches. Change it to that color. Different door, though. That's fine. Put another window there. I think I need to change this window as well. Is this too big? What do you guys think? What about this one? Yes, I like that one. And then I think I want to change those two to a smaller one. I think that looks pretty nice. Don't want to have too many big windows. Don't want it to be too dark. Or should I maybe add a ladder instead of a staircase? This is definitely a challenge. Yeah, I should probably add a ladder instead of a staircase because a staircase will definitely take up too much space. There we go. No, that's not gonna work. Yeah. There we go. I want to have this downstairs area open plan. What color should I use? Should I paint it pink? Like this one, the impeccable plaster. How about this pink? Should I paint the upstairs pink as well? But I'm definitely going to put this light blue color in the bathroom more pinker okay i wish the sims 4 had a color slider what about this one don't want it to be too pink though and i think i might leave the plain pink up here that actually looks kind of cute but i'm actually going to change the colors of all of this Pink and white is like one of the best color combinations out there.
It looks so cute. And I'm definitely going to put my kitchen over here. Let me actually put some lights in here first. Oh yeah, I forgot to add the other door back. It does look cute. Let's stick with a black and white theme for our kitchen. Black, white and pink. Let's put a sink over there. There we go. That looks kind of cute. despite how small it is and they're not going to have a TV. They will however have a bookshelf. Bookshelf can stand right there in the corner. Let's add some curtains. I wish you could actually close the curtains in The Sims. It's kind of weird that you have curtains that are basically non-functional. Is this window in line with all the other windows? No. There. Now it is. Nice, nice, nice. This is by far the smallest house I've ever built. Then we're gonna add a carpet. I have a rug exactly like this in my house. Well, not exactly. It's got diamonds on it. Then we go up to the bedroom. This bedroom is going to be so small.
So you know what? I think I might actually have to use one of these. Let's go with that one. And then we put this underneath. Then we have a clock that goes on top there. Looks a little more spacious now with this bed. Should add a bath mat. I really like this carpet, but it's too big. No carpet for the bedroom, I guess. I think we're actually pretty much done with the inside. I think it looks so adorable.
There we go. I like the way it turned out. If you guys have any other challenges you can recommend that would be greatly appreciated. 